Um, I want to tell you a story uh, that's specifically for the haters. Where are the haters at? Um, a lot of haters online trolling and being mean behind the safety of their keyboards and computer screens. Just ask Melissa Blake. She's a freelance journalist and columnist in the Chicago area and has a blog called So About What I Said. After writing a CNN article criticizing Trump, she received a lot of hateful comments online, but it wasn't about her writing. It was about her photo. She is disabled due to a genetic bone disorder called Freeman Sheldon syndrome. So what did Melissa do? Pay attention. She posted this tweet right here that says, during the last round of Trollgate, people said that I should be banned from posting photos of myself because I'm too ugly. So I just like to commemorate the occasion with these three selfies. And yes, you see them there. She posted three beautiful selfies of herself. So I want to bring in Melissa Blake. She joins us right now. Hello, Melissa. Good to see you. Hi, Kimberly. It's so nice to talk to you. Yes, I'm so happy to see you. You know the phrase that they say, they say, kill them with kindness, but you blasted these people with kindness. So why did you decide to go ahead and be bold and post this tweet? Um, That's interesting. I think it was, there was a little bit of a defiant um, nature in me. And I saw those comments and it was just thousands of comments basically saying the same thing about my appearance. And I thought, well, if they don't want me to post selfies, that's exactly what I'm going to do as a way to kind of show them that they're not going to get the best of me and that I'm going to be proud of who I am and I'm not going to be afraid to post pictures of myself. Absolutely. And it, it, it's so interesting because in the process of you being so courageous, um, your post went viral. I don't even think I've ever seen this for one tweet. Um, you, you look at this tweet now, it has almost 300,000 likes and it has over 28,000 retweets. What did you think when all of that just kept coming into your account, all of the love? I, it was completely unexpected. And I, I know a lot of people say that, but it was, I, I didn't expect any of that because I just, it was kind of a random tweet that I posted on a Saturday night of all days. And I just woke up the next morning and I had gained like 2,000 followers and people from all over the world were saying how much, you know, they identified with the tweet and that they really appreciated for once um, on social media that there was some positivity instead of all this toxicity. Yeah, and in all of the love, it actually started a movement, um, hashtag my best selfie. So people um, for, from everywhere were writing in and, and saying how they were inspired by you. Um, what does it feel like to know that you're sort of spreading that light when the Internet yeah, can be a dark place? Yeah, it's amazing. I, I actually started that hashtag exactly a week after I posted my selfie. And I thought, I want to see other people celebrating themselves and being proud of who they are. And I think in our society, there's a lot of this message that you shouldn't be proud, that you should be humble. And I don't think there's anything wrong with being proud of who you are and celebrating that. And so I, I, I wanted to see that in other people. And they really responded, too, which was amazing. It's unbelievable. Um, we are also inspired by you. And we know now that everyone's knocking on your door because they're wanting your writing. They're wanting your presence. They want you everywhere. So um, thank you for being so brave and bold and reminding us to celebrate ourselves. Uh, Melissa, well, good to see you. you. Yes. Thanks for being on. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.